Hi everybody, I'm aware there's some speculation and curiosity surrounding the lack of videos over the past months. It's a disappointment that I have decided to part ways with Tom. What is up guys? One of the most insane pectoral tears I have yet to see. So a guy that's been working out with Larry Wheels for quite some time, obviously when you're working out with Larry Wheels, <laughs> Larry Wheels himself pushing the most incredible numbers of all time, you're probably gonna push some of your most insane numbers or at least attempt them. And this gentleman by the name of Ryan Crowley went for a 495 pound incline bench press, where you can see obviously like one of the most crazy things to watch. I cringe every time I watch any type of pectoral tear, bicep tear. It's every lifter's worst nightmare, what you never want to happen. So Larry Wheel, being the awesome guy he is, wrote in the description of that video, basically a GoFundMe to help because apparently his insurance, Ryan Crowley's insurance, doesn't cover that type of surgery. And that could be a possible career-ending injury. Got you, got you. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, if you look at the pictures and videos, it does not look good at all. Probably one of the most severe pectoral tears I have yet to see. And this guy, Ryan Crowley, has a bright future. He's a bigger dude. He's over 300 pounds. He's obviously pushing a lot of weight. So he has immense potential. I believe he's 23 years old. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I am. So I am hoping him a speedy recovery back, hopefully to 100%, because many of you remember Larry Wheels tore his bicep. And in fact, he even made a reference to that in his most recent post. It appears as though the surgery was a success, so that's awesome to see Ryan Crowley is now on the road to recovery, and who knows when he'll be back in the gym. And the thing is, with any type of chest tear or bicep tear, oftentimes you're gonna have it look much different than before the injury. I mean, take Larry Wheel's arm, for instance. You can tell he had a bicep tear just the way his bicep peaks. But regardless of the look, Larry Wheel's made a recovery is still pulling and pushing like astronomical numbers. Respect to Larry Wheels for, you know, helping out Ryan Crowley with the GoFundMe, raising the money for the surgery to happen, covering the expenses, and then I also wish Ryan Crowley a speedy recovery. Now moving on to the next story, we have Juji Mufu, very popular in YouTube and on social media, with his, I guess now, ex-business partner, ex-friend, Tom, who many of you have seen. They actually ran a YouTube channel together where it was Juji and Tom. And recently, Juji came out with this video stating that he is no longer associating with Tom. And the way Juji talks to the camera, not only did he change the name of his YouTube channel, he also states it as though his lawyer or attorney told him how to say it, what to say. And what I mean is, you can tell Juji is saddened by what he's saying to the camera, doesn't want to be saying it but says that he needs to cut ties with Tom, that we will no longer see Tom. I'm aware there's some speculation and curiosity surrounding the lack of videos over the past months. It's a disappointment that I have decided to part ways with Tom. I have not come to this decision hastily or lightly. Continued collaboration with Tom is no longer possible. And the reason is, if you look online, you can see their legal documents of what this is actually pertaining to. And what happened is, allegedly, Tom was stealing money from their company, Grip Genie, and to basically use that money to fund his gambling addiction. Now, this is all allegations. I don't know whether this is true or not. I don't talk to Juji. I don't talk to Tom. So they would have to talk on that themselves and allow their lawsuit to continue down the road to whoever is right or wrong. But on these legal documents that are published online, it claims that Tom stole over $100,000 to fund his gambling addiction. So it's not good. I mean, it sucks. That's why they always use that common saying, don't do business with your best friends because, you know, ultimately, I'm not going to say this is going to play out every single time like this. But you just hate to see it because Juji and Tom had such a good thing going. They were really good together on camera. They made some very entertaining content. So, I mean, it sucks to see. So hopefully they can reach some type of settlement. Juji and Tom figure out, you know, their friendship, their channel going forward. Apparently, at least at the moment, it's going to be Juji's channel because he renamed it and it... He stated in the video that it's just going to be him that we're going to be seeing from now on. So that wraps up the video for today, guys. Ryan Crowley, I hope you a speedy recovery. Larry Wheels, keep pushing those insane numbers. Juji and Tom, I hope you guys settle whatever disagreement you have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you already knew this information. I'm sure there's plenty of people that are already going to be publishing this video about this pectoral tear or the Juji and Tom drama. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those post notifications. And just remember, boys, be careful.